Good morning guys, welcome back to a brand new video. On today's video, what am I doing? I'm taking you guys off manual focus and putting you guys back on autofocus. But, um, on today's video, I am actually trying to increase cost per purchase per customer. So, if you guys understand what that means is that usually uh, you can average out how many, uh, what customers spend is every single time they purchase something off your website on today I'm just working on two cents so I'm actually trying to make it easier for people to purchase because we notice we have a lot of SKUs SKUs are products um, if you guys don't know people what actually what does SKU actually stand for stock keeping unit I I don't think I even know that. I just knew it was called a SKU. We have a lot of SKUs, therefore I'm gonna to try to make it easier for when people actually purchase. Because we notice some people are just adding one or two air fresheners to their cart. So the smartest way to increase purchase uh, amount is making it easier for them. So making like black ice packs, uh, Pokemon packs, fruits, flavor, smell packs, Asian confectionery packs, and stuff like that. I'm actually going to add more items to the Two Cents website. So if you guys haven't noticed, we've just added key rings. So key rings was a really uh, good addition. So we really just don't want to steer away from car related products so for example i want to uh, actually do stickers because you guys know i do have a vinyl sticking printing a machine so that doesn't get used as much as i wanted to get used so i'm going to actually uh start using that now i'll create maybe like four or five stickers print a whole heap of them out stupidly while i'm saying this i just realized i don't actually have white vinyl as of yet which is not smart but could be smart i've ordered some should be coming today let's hope so let's start this video just finished pretty much uploading everything i needed to do so you guys can see the stickers there now and if you hit down this plus sign a sub menu we have packs so the stickers are all here these are the main stickers that i want to do so one two three there's six there's eight stickers here so when you click on it it says it's a car sticker, vinyl, decal. Um, they're approximately 10 to 10 centimeters big or in proportion. I have the very important, you guys gotta understand that you need to tell them what it actually does and it's not just a paper sticker because a lot of people think paying $5 for a paper sticker is insane. But this is actually a car decal sticker so it's printed on very high quality vinyl. Um, so it'll be five dollars each that's what i feel like people are willing to pay for it and then let's move over to the packs so the packs here uh we did sorry we did i did well me and you guys did so we did the pokemon black ice uh three pack so if you buy this just makes it easier for people if they they find it hard to find some sense find uh the characters or whatever so this one is easy all you got to do is add this to cart and we'll send you three of these in the black ice scented that's really smart and then we have the asian confectionery nine pack so you get every single asian confectionery that we make and then we have a lot of skews on these as well so scented and whatever so we have like four different scents for every single one but what i did was i just gave them the option of calling her fruity and fresh so all you gotta do is cool. I just want a fruity smell for all of them. You just add that to cut. Or you want a fresh smell, fresh smell for all of them. You add them to cut. We did the Naruto. This one was kind of hard because there was four Naruto characters, and so I made it at a discount. So you can buy three for ten. Um, so I just made four for thirteen. So you save two dollars. And then we did a one piece one as well. I found it slightly low key hard to actually call it fruity or fresh because it's like the smells of black ice, cool water, um, new car, uh, we have some other ones that are this more of a fresh toilet, clean, uh, hospital sort of smell like the ones that like make the smell even like a manly uh, cologne smell so I didn't want to call it something that that will put you guys off so like for example pine wood would be a fresh smell that we actually have um, and I didn't want to call it just men cologne or female cologne or whatever because we have the, the Chanel number no. five uh, smell which is more of a, like a fresh smell rather than a fruity smell. It was 
choice of word is very important when you create uh, stuff online because you don't want it so only you can understand. So usually when uh, I do any options like this, I send it to Philly, I send it to uh, two of my other business partners that don't actually relate with Two Cents and they're like, we understand it, very important. So sometimes some terminologies that you guys will use only you guys will understand like for example that like Australian slang or even some Vietnamese slang or or Chinese slang or Japanese slang some people actually don't understand what it means so I still call it a sticker for some people I call it a car vinyl for other people so to so you don't actually uh, get confused and you totally understand what it is when you purchase it anyway I'll show you guys the size of the sticker I actually printed one out and I sort of destroyed it so let's go downstairs to the vinyl printing machine and I'm not gonna print one because one I don't have vinyl two I just used up all my vinyl for something dumb I did a pr test print on uh, some vinyl but this is actually uh, a special type of vinyl that you can actually transfer onto t-shirts and make your own garments so this is a technique that I'm actually currently working on uh, I've been working on it for the last like two or three days to get it actually perfected have we got it perfected we did the couch as you guys saw we made uh, some transfer for that and I also did this high-vis uh, jacket top I don't know what you guys want to call it but I literally just put the cocaine logo on the bottom of it uh, I'll show you guys some durability tests which is actually very very important so here it is right here right you guys can see how well it is there's no sound or feel difference between the fabric and the vinyl um, and I can stretch it like you guys can see the tension that I'm actually putting on it it doesn't break it doesn't tear we haven't wash tested it as of yet, but I'm pretty sure uh, it's it's pretty stuck on there. Anyway, back to the stickers. This is the Charmander right here. So you guys can see I, I burnt it by trying to put it onto a t-shirt. Uh, we printed it the wrong way. We still tried to take it off and printed it and whatever. But, so this is gonna be the sizes of uh, the decals so compared to my hand. I really don't want the decals to be any bigger than this. So I, that's why I wrote 10 by 10, which makes life kind of easier. So I'll just do 10 uh, centimeters by width and then proportion height. That, that just makes everyone gets a 10 centimeter of somehow of a sticker, 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 sticker. I'll show you guys the machine because that's what you guys are probably wondering what I use to make this. If you guys scroll back, I don't know, like years, one year, two years ago, uh, I purchased this machine, oh, maybe it's only been a year. This is a brother, no, what? It's a Roland, sorry, my bad. A Roland BN20 sign maker. So this cuts and prints for you. So if you guys are wanting to see, if you guys can see all uh, the cocaine logos on the wall, here and even the sticker up there even I actually use this a lot so even with the uh, the flooring those are all stickers there and even with this uwu uh, vinyl right here so the colors that it prints is very pastel very nice and you can do decal signs like the one at the front here like you guys can see how shiny and glossy the vinyl is and I do always have a bunch of vinyls. If you guys are always wondering what these rolls are up here. So this is the pink vinyl. We have a carbon fiber vinyl. And then I was testing a whole bunch of random other colors. Uh, underneath the printer. So you guys can see like there's purple, there's a shiny gloss pink, uh, red, blue, carbon white. Like I've been really, really testing it and I'm actually happy that I'm starting to use this machine again. But the only shit thing about it is it uses a very expensive ink. If you guys are actually just wondering why I don't know where I decided, okay, cool, we're gonna make more sales than two cents, even though like two cents already gets like 70 to 120 on an average. That's a really weird average, but we need to get, we get more than 70 and we sometimes peak at 120 orders a day. Uh, it's because me and Min yesterday actually did a stock take of all our stock and we sort of reorganized it so it's nice and clean and did, did count and whatnot. There was some, the packs also help us get rid of dead stock. So for some odd reason, I don't know why, but in the sneaker community, the word dead stock has meant not worn, not used or whatever, right? 
But in reality, in the retail world, dead stock means stock that you weren't able to sell. Like stock that has been sitting in your storeroom for 10 years, 20 years. Unpurchased stock is called dead stock. So I'm not sure why the sneak community decided to just fuck things up and change the whole terminology. And I don't know, I don't know who started it. But we realized that uh, a lot of, so we have the, when I made the Naruto pack of four, we're only selling two or three of them more than the others. So we're trying to make it so everyone buys the whole pack, makes it easier. We get rid of more stock and we're able to have room to get more stock as well. I'm just saying more stock, more stock. But same thing with uh, the One Piece characters. So everyone's buying Luffy and Zoro, but they're not, but they're not buying this girl, uh, Nanny. I think that, that's her name. Yeah, this girl. So everyone's just buying, like they're buying Zoro, uh, Luffy, and then, uh, 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 what's his name? Naruto or something. Yeah, sorry. I don't even, I, I don't watch Japanese anime. I don't watch anime in general. Uh, my business partner decides it all and I sort of just believe in him and I run the ads and I do all the selling techniques and all that. So like, all the Asian inspired stuff is me, all the anime inspired stuff is him. So it's both, best of both worlds. The crazy thing is within minutes, look, he's sold at 12.33. The Pokemon Black Ice Pack. As soon as I put it up, it worked. Which is a very, very good sign. See this, maybe the customer was only wanting one or two. Now I moved into three products plus a higher spend, which is good. Probably think another thing that you guys probably noticed with today's vlog is that it's just me operating the camera. Philly is just literally part of the vlog, but she's not the one operating it. So what you guys are gonna notice now, from now on, we're gonna interchange between me and Philly, so you guys can see my day, how, like my point of view of the day, and then you're gonna see Philly's point of view of the day, and see. I just saw a dog go out the door. Where did he go? So that's the new uh, concept of our vlogs, just to make life easier, because some days I can't always pick up the cameras, some days Philly can't always pick up the cameras, it just makes life easier, and it actually gives it a good perspective for you guys. So if you guys are enjoying it, hit that, Hit that, that button that looks like my, my thumb. Anyway, let's keep going. So what I'm gonna do now is Philly just pulled the van up. I gotta check oil, I gotta check water, I gotta check spark plugs, I gotta check everything else so the car is good to drive to Sydney. As you guys know, we're driving all the way to Sydney for our pop-ups just because we want to drive. The setup, we can't actually send. If we could physically send our setup, we would be sending it and just flying up because it. Flying up just makes it life easier. But we are actually driving with four people. So it's me, Philly, Johnson, and Zach. Johnson's actually visiting his girlfriend up there for Valentine's Day. So it's actually a good time for him to go up as well. And we're just gonna do one hour, 45 minute um, intervals of driving. Therefore, it's a nine hour trip. It is a nine hour drive, but that includes brakes and stuff like that. You could get there probably faster, but uh, one, one hour, 45 minutes, which means uh, what's that? What, what is that? That means it is seven hours worth of driving. So that's nearly perfect. That means we get there pretty early. We're gonna leave at 7 p.m. and then drive all the way up there. And we're hoping to get to the three quarter mark and actually just sleep for like four to five hours and then jump back on the road, go get something to eat. Uh, and we're bringing our dogs, which is great. A few things I like to check, right? So. Before a long drive, I like to check the coolant, if the coolant is good, so let's open this cap. Yep, nice and green all the way up to the top. I might just top it off just a little bit. Coolant reservoir, right here. It shouldn't be too high, it should be halfway, let's hope. Yep, perfect halfway. That can go back down. Brake fluid is good, I can see it visually, and now I'm having problems putting this back in. Yep, there we go. Brake reservoir looks good. Uh, power steering fluid. Oh well, this is embarrassing, is there? Yep, there we go. Power steering is low. So we need power steering fluid. 
windscreen washing fluid which is really really important this is empty so my trick is usually put soap in here or like some sort of hard degreaser so when you do use the, the windscreen wipers they work really well oh, we need to buy new windscreen wipers then what are you doing why is he near the pram can we bring this to sydney can we show you guys our custom pram you ready for the front it's very extra <laughs> I'm the extra sometimes. Can I bring this? Yes, if you want, babe. Okay, anyway, gotta fill this up, fill this up, fill this up, uh, get more power steering fluid, and good to go. I'm actually really lucky that I do this. Power steering is super low, and oil is super low. Right, like, I just cleaned this so you, I could show you guys. If I pull it out, right, that's um, the only amount of oil I have. It's supposed to be at least on the grooves. So, I need to put oil in this thing. I need to go buy oil, actually. I need to buy wind, brand new windscreen wipers and power steering fluid. So, off to super cheap we go. Didn't bring you guys with me. Yes, I am rude. Didn't bring my friends to, with me to uh, super cheap. Bought 1040 uh, oil. Also bought um, what's called uh, power steering uh, auto transmission fluid as well ATF and power steering fluid is the same so you can use DEX3 perfect uh, new windscreen wipers and I also bought a insert DIN because I'll show you guys look at this ghetto-ness like it's just straight nothing and she just go in there and I can pop my phone and stuff in there properly now. Nothing. Literally nothing in this thing. In theory, what I should be doing is starting the car and making Philly turn the wheel back and forth, but I'm just gonna put power steering fluid in it in general so it has some. Well, we just finished, well me and you guys, just finished servicing the van. It's good to go for that freaking 2,000 kilometers uh, journey tomorrow that starts tomorrow I'm hoping it starts tomorrow or the day after you guys I don't know when you guys will see this but you guys are usually a day or two or three away behind so it actually gives me in Philly the chance to actually do other things but um, I'm gonna show you guys this right here I just finished printing out some stickers you can see how nice it is the great thing about this vinyl machine is usually people charge ten dollars for this sticker here right and the vinyl itself, um, I think for like 10 meters or 30 meters of this vinyl, it is about $200. So if you make enough stickers, it is pretty profitable. But my battery is getting low, so it's time for me to end this video just for you guys. I hope you guys like and enjoy the new layout of me and Philly. So one day you'll see me uh, take control of the camera, then this next day you'll see Philly, and then maybe sometimes you'll see us both. Well, I don't know, I just like this better. It just gives me more time to do work and stuff like that. Hope you guys enjoy. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit whatever buttons you guys freaking want. Hit that X button. Get out of this video, enjoy your life, and start hustling and do whatever you guys want to do. You want to say bye, babe? I can still see you. Bye. Say bye, my battery's going bye, low. Guys. Okay, bye, I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. Peace.